Hi everyone. Our next topic is thermocouple type RF ammeter. RF ammeter. Here previously we have seen DC ammeters, multi-range DC ammeters, but we have not seen the word RF. RF stands for radio frequency. RF stands for radio frequency. That means in this case we are going to measure the AC current, not DC current. I, I already told you meter does not calculate AC current directly. So we should convert AC current into DC current and then we have to apply to the meter. So for this conversion we need a rectifier circuit. We need a rectifier circuit. Okay, here in this uh, diagram, we will not show the rectifier conversion and the entire circuit diagram. Here it's just simply written as ammeter. That ammeter is an AC ammeter which has to be converted into DC and then it is given to the meter. We have to understand such a way because it is radio frequency. Okay, now. What do you mean by thermocouple? Till now we have seen just what do you mean by RF and then ammeter. What do you mean by thermocouple? What do you mean by thermocouple? Thermo is nothing but it is related to the temperature. It is related to temperature or heat. You can also say it is heat. And couple. Couple means Couple means two. Couple means two. That means thermocouple is nothing but there are two dissimilar wires joined together. We are taking two different wires, two different metal wires. It is metal one and it is metal two. metal two. So two different metal wires are joined together and provides a junction. This is the junction. At this junction if you apply heat, it, at this junction if you apply heat the metal gets heated and some current will flow through this metal wire. This is the concept. Thermocouple is nothing but two dissimilar metal wires joined together to provide a junction and whenever some heat is applied across the junction some RF current will be flowing through the circuit. I repeat whenever two dissimilar wires join together to provide a junction at this junction if you apply some heat some current will be flowing through the circuit. Okay, Our aim is to find what is the amount of current flowing through the metal wire. Okay, let us see the construction of thermocouple. This is the thermocouple. See, here two different colored lines are given. This is first one and this is second one. The first one indicating some metal one and the second one indicating another metal two. Okay, and these two are joined together whenever heat is applied, see here some heat is applied, whenever heat is applied some current starts flowing through this metal. So when this current is flowing through this metal, the ammeter or voltmeter whatever we are connecting here, here it is shown as a voltmeter but it is ammeter. Okay, it is RF ammeter. This ammeter is used to show the deflection what is the amount of current flowing through this metal wires. Okay. So this is what the thermocouple type RF ammeter. Now we may have a doubt what are the types of metal 1 and metal 2. Examples of this metal 1 and metal 2 are constantin as one metal, constantin against aluminium, constantin against aluminium or constantin against platinum or copper against aluminium or copper 
against platinum or aluminium against platinum any two different metal wires we can consider in this case in the form uh, to create a thermocouple two different metals metals must be of two different types so that's why the definition of thermocouple is two dissimilar metal wires joined together to provide a junction whenever we are heating the junction some current is flowing through the meter now there are four types of thermocouple rf armatures first one mutual type second contact type third separate heater type and fourth one is bridge type okay i repeat mutual type contact type separate heater type mutual type contact type separate heater type and then bridge type let us see one by one with the di circuit diagrams mutual type rf ammeter in the case of mutual type rf ammeter the ammeter is connected across the thermocouple ammeter is connected across the thermocouple so this is the place where we are connecting the thermocouple and it is the ammeter i have already told you the ammeter is used to measure the ac current so internally it is having a setup to convert the ac to dc and then a meter here the entire circuit diagram is not shown our aim is to find the rf current which is coming from the thermocouple how the construction between the thermocouple and this ammeter we are showing here okay see this is the thermocouple which is placed here across the ammeter whenever we are applying some heat across this some current flowing through this wire that current is entering in this meter and the meter will show the reflections corresponding to the current that is generated from the thermocouple this is what the mutual type so mutual type means both only the ammeter and the thermocouple only are there in the circuit okay no other element is there in the circuit that's why mutual type rf ammeter coming to the second type of rf ammeter that is contact type contact type see here in the previous case heater element is not shown heater element just we can use any type of heating element where we can provide some heat and to produce the current but here in the contact type we are having a heater element that is in contact with the thermocouple okay that's why it is the name contact type okay see here it is the ammeter as i said there is an ammeter definitely one ammeter should be there and this ammeter is connected in series with the thermocouple element this is the thermocouple element okay the thermocouple is connected between a and b there are two points a, a b and one more point is there c a b c but we have taken the thermocouple element which is connected between a and b points now in order to provide some heat to produce the current across the thermocouple we are using some heating element this is the heating element okay this is heating element so whenever some heat is occurred across this point thermocouple gets heated and some current flowing through this one okay if you observe here thermocouple element and this heating element both are touched to each other okay that means one is in contact with the other that's why it is contact type rf ammeter third one is separate heater type rf ammeter where we are separating the heating element from the thermocouple element in the previous case both are in contact that's why it is contact type but here it is separated that's why it is separate heater type element but uh, when they are separated how the heat is transferred to the thermocouple we may have a doubt so the heat is transferred by a bead this is the bead glass bead one glass bead is used here in between the thermocouple element and the heater so that the heat is transferred from heating element to this thermocouple through the glass bead here the bead we are not using any other bead so it is a glass bead glass bead purpose is to transfer the heat from heating element to this thermocouple this is thermocouple as in the previous case okay this is the thermocouple so whenever the heating is produced because of this heating element the 
bead will transfer the heat from this heating element to this thermocouple so the thermocouple gets heated and some current will be flowing and that current is going to be measured by using this ammeter okay oh, see we no need to buy hot each and everything according to the name the circuit is going to be constructed separate heater type separate heater type so heater element is separated from the thermocouple that means in between this heater element and the thermocouple we are using a glass bead to transfer the heat from the heating element to the thermocouple and the last one is bridge type rf ammeter bridge type what do you mean by bridge bridge is having four arms bridge is having four arms whether it is erect any type of bridges you might have seen different bridges like uh, uh, wheatstones bridge veins bridge or rectifier bridge rectifier like that every bridge is having four arms here also we are using a four arm bridge where the four arms are made up of thermocouples okay this is one thermocouple this is two thermocouple this is third thermocouple and this is the fourth thermocouple element <laughs> all these are four different thermocouples which are connected in a bridge form here the meter is connected in between the bridge what is the purpose of the bridge if you know the bridge concept whenever bridge is in balanced condition whenever bridge is in balanced condition bridge is in balanced condition what happens the current flowing through the galvanometer is equal to zero that means the indication shown by this meter is zero null indication indication is shown by the meter is zero is nothing but null indication that means the currents flowing through the thermocouples are equal the current flowing through this one is equal to this one and similarly current flowing through this thermocouple is equal to fourth thermocouple so in generally the bridge type of rf ammeters are used to balance the bridge with the current which is flowing through the thermocouples okay so these are the four different types of rf thermocouple ammeters mutual type contact type separate heater type and then bridge type okay thank you